1, a toy car is at point A. This one, the car is then moved with a constant velocity of this one. Find the position vector of the toy car after 2.5 seconds. So, we know that this one is centimeter per second. This one is for 1 second. So, what we need to do is that the distance then move right so we have to add this one so here a is negative 3 negative 2 so the vector is so the vector is negative 3 negative 2 so like before in vector you can choose either one you wanted to use you want to use xi plus yj or you would like to use xy but for me i love to use xy because i don't have to write additional I and J here and still get the same answer. So, but depends if you want to use this one also okay because we will still get the same answer. So, this one negative 3, negative 2, right? So, this one is the position vector right now. So, this one car move with a constant velocity and then it move with a velocity of this one. So, this one is for 1 second and you see that after 2.5 second. So, what you need to do is that you have to multiply 2.5 second because this one is for 1 second. So this one is 2 is x and this one is y. 2 negative 3. So here we get negative 3 negative 2 plus 2.5 times 2 we get 5. 2.5 times negative 3 we get negative 7.5. So negative 3 plus 5 negative 2 plus negative 7.5 5. So here negative 3 plus 2 we get 2. So here negative 2 minus 7.5 we get negative 9.5. So 2 the position vector of both A T hours after leaving port O is this one. Well the position vector so leaving port O right. So we know that here O A is equal to 30 15 T. Or when you multiply we get 30 T 15 T. Okay, and then this one, okay, position vector of both B, so we know that this one is from O is equal to 55 plus T, 10, 10. So this one basically you get 55, so this one is 10, T times 10, we get 10, T, T times 10, we get 10, T as well. So you combine X and Y, 50 plus 10, T. 5 plus 10 T. Will the two boats meet? If they meet, the T should be the same. We should be able to find we should be able to find T when they meet. Which the T must be equal. So we can compare the X and Y. So we compare x first. So here 30 t is equal to 50 plus 10 t. Right? We wanted to find t so we bring 10 t to the other side. 30 t minus 10 t is equal to 50. Right? So this one is 20 t is equal to 50. t is equal to 50 divided by 20. So here you get 2.5. So for x T is equal to 2.5. So we have to check for Y as well. If the T is equal, if T is equal, that means um, they meet each other at the same time. So this one for our Y, so here 15T is equal to 50. So this one is 5. Eh? So here 15 t, this one is equal supposed to be okay. When they meet, the time is supposed to be the same, right? This one is 5 plus 10 t. So here we want t, we bring to the other side. 15 t minus 10 t is equal to 5. 5 t is equal to 5. So t is equal to 1. So this one is 1. So we see here this one is not equal to this one. It is supposed to be the same time for x and y to meet, but then it is not the same. So, since T is not the same, both one meet.